Hey there, Internet, and welcome back to Sweet Fuse at your side. Now we are going to go with the absolutely um, revolutionary, or, or what's, what's the word I'm actually looking for? Contrary option. <laughs> and going with Mitaraji when he specifically told us not to. It's going to be great. It's going to be a good time. I thought about it for a moment and decided I should go with Mitaraji after all. What cute little, what cute little chibi. You did tell me. I just didn't listen. And I also feel responsible for what happened. Please, just let me come with you. I knew he wanted to be alone, but running off just felt wrong to me. I needed to take responsibility for his injury. Meet that as she sighed. You're practically a kid in attitude word indeed and other things that I don't I don't even know. Okay, jerk, I am like in this game I'm like 18 years old. I can take care of myself. In this country, I can live on my own. Ow. What'd you do to me? I felt something thwack me on the forehead, and it was a moment before I realized me that actually had flicked me. He moved so fast, I hadn't even seen it. Which just makes me think that he's a demon. I mean, look at his hair. Look at his ears. He's probably a demon. Awesome. We're at the office. While I was still rubbing the red weld on my head, Mitarashi jogged off toward the office. Good things. I'm not a kid. Well, I mean, I guess technically I am in school, but still! Adulthood is a state of mind, guys. Which is why it has taken me a very long time to become an adult. So, this doesn't really look like a um, an office so much as a stowage room. Mitarashi grumbled as he wiggled several light switches to no effect. Well, gosh dang it. Probably. I mean, he probably doesn't want the electrical bills to just keep hiking up. I'll bet we can still find a first aid kit in here, though. Fortunately, there was a sliver of moonlight shining through the window romantically, which gave us at least a little illumination. And some mood. Anyway, we started to root through some drawers that looked like they might have what we were looking for. I'm sorry. I just feel guilty. Completely, yeah. His voice made him sound much closer than I thought he was. No! No, Saki. No. Don't. Don't! Huh? Startled, I flailed around a bit until my hand brushed up against his. You fail! <laughs> no, you just startled me and freaked me the heck out. Back off. I doubt he thought anything of it. Someone with his profession probably touched lots of hands. And probably other things, Saki, you little girl, you. Now who's not a kid? Still just a high school girl though. Touching some guy's hand is kind of a big deal. Oh, Japan. Oh, dearest. Okay. Oh, here it is! The first aid kit! I mean, not anything else. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So it stumbled back from my close encounter. The other hand had brushed up against a box, the first aid kit he'd been looking for. Yay, fortuitous! Sure. You can't really do it yourself, can you? Actually, that is a good point. Yes, just to make this more awkward. Why do you think I came with you? Forced him to sit down on a nearby bench and set to work. I'm sorry, I'm just. I'm annoying most of the time. 
Stop saying everything's in pain. You're gonna be in real pain if we don't get this wound cleaned up. Nice comeback, Saki. You're gonna make a great mom someday. Oh hey, shirtless CG. Great. You win the race, Mitarashi! You got the first shirtless CG. He pulled off his jacket with an exasperated sigh. Exposing the area where the arrow had struck him, as well as several other areas. Smooth, Saki. Smooth. With a V. What I wouldn't give for a working life right now. Oh, Saki. Saki, you pervert. Quickly soaked one of the cotton balls in anesthetic. This is going to hurt. As much as the arrow. Wait, what? What? Weird. Weirdness. What do you do as an escort? Oh my gosh. I had a cut treated like this once and it hurt like heck. Wasn't a quarrel wound, though. Thank you so much for what you did back there, saving my life and things so that I can continue being the protagonist. Okay, now, now you shut up, because I am thanking you, and I'm being grateful. Look here, you jerk. Or you could say it over and over and over, and you do it right, and you put your heart in it. Okay? That smile, though. Anybody else, like, mildly freaked out? You should punch him. Punch him in the arm. Ow. Gave me a smirk and patted me on the head. No. Actually, I kind of wanted to be a nurse and go to India and do sort of, um, do pharmacy work, but I guess that would mean I would have to be a pharmacist. But then Ebola happened and I freaked out and realized, oh, I'm not good around all of this. Seems scary sometimes, but then other times he seems pretty nice. That doesn't give him an excuse to keep calling me a kid, though. Yeah. You're actually more grown up than he is. Mentally. Emotionally. Huh? I kinda wanna punch you in the face. He paused as he put his coat back on to look at me, one eyebrow cocked. What should I say? <laughs> My dream is to become a wife! <laughs> no. Don't treat me like a little kid. What have I done? 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 This this is child abuse and and I can't think of words right now because you're being obnoxious. And also because it's too early for me to think of words. And I'm tired from looking for jobs because I'm a whip. Yes! You did what I wanted you to! You punched him in his arm! Sweet! You're not sorry, Saki. Don't ever be sorry. You shouldn't make fun of me like that. That's that's actually like Sekuhara to the extreme, and child Sekuhara is even worse. I'm fairly certain an adult would also punch you in the arm if you try to, like, get all Sekuhara on their butt. Their face, whatever, I don't even know. This is ho so if you hit him, you win points. 
He's some sort of like weirdo masochist. Remember he said he was all like used to pain and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. Although I don't judge you if you're a masochist and that's your preference, that's okay. I'm just judging him in the game because he's a game character and he has no feelings. This is hopeless. There's no point to arguing with him, really, because he's actually more like a kid than you are. Um, not particularly, but sure. Yeah! We ran back to the restaurant to find everyone else already there and proceeded to enjoy a delicious dinner. Alright, this is where we meet up with everybody else after we have made our one of our decisions. Um, back at the four-way crossroads. Interdasting. Alright. So, we have helped out Mitarashi. We're a little bit closer to him. We're like, we're like friends now. It's cool. We will hopefully make other decisions in later episodes. Until then, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon.